Right then, going to talk about Marcus Rashford. He was a player who massively did struggle in yesterday's game against Ipswich. We'll be talking about what his best position is, is at Manchester United. An overall thought from the game yesterday. Now, obviously, he played in the number nine. After 81 seconds, he scored a goal, which was fantastic. A great team goal, great bit of play by Ahmad. But other than in the other 65 minutes, he didn't play. Or he did play the game. Rashford didn't really have an impact in the game. And I think he has massively struggled. Yes, it's the first game. And we've seen him play number nine before and have some very good games. But he just didn't look confident at all for me. And I think Rashford's best position in this Amarim system would not be in the number nine. And then the best player for the number nine would be Hoyland. Now, we've tried it. Yes, it's only one game. But... That one game did really teach us a lot about Rashford. He wasn't physical enough. He wasn't going to the ball. And I don't think he has that ability to play through the middle. Now, listen, he played 68 minutes. Obviously, scored the one goal. Um, but just wasn't great and didn't really offer much. Um, he had 13 touches in the whole game. As a striker, yes, it's low. But that's really not enough. Um, you look at that position available for Rashford to play. And then left wing back, maybe. But has he got the defensive ability to do so? I think inside forward, but absolutely doing fantastically. But he can be inside, create, go wide. Um, I think that would be absolutely perfect for him. I think as a number nine, we need someone who's physical, can run with the ball, and um, power. And I think Hoyland is the perfect sort of striker. And then the issue is with Rashford, he just, yeah, he can't play the number nine. Yes, he can score goals from there, but he doesn't really offer the ultimate sort of ability that we need. And I think that's something Amarim will definitely learn about Rashford in it in post-match, looking at and analysing the game. Yes, he scored a great goal, but I think if you put Hoyland in, the, like most players would have scored that goal. Um, and I think going forward, the best position would be one of those inside forwards. Now, looking at Bruno, probably guaranteed going to be one of those inside forwards. Who do you think the other one would be? Garnacho. Could Ahmad be in there? Mount Eriksson. There are a lot of options out there. Um, Rashford in there as well. You've seen Xerxes operate there yesterday when he came on. There definitely are a lot of options there and you can really sort of understand why he did play Rashford in the nine. Um, I think going forward, especially against Bodo Glimp on Thursday, you could see Rashford through the middle. But for me, I don't think that's ultimately beneficial for the team and ultimate, ultimately be beneficial for the squad. What we need at this current moment, there's no doubt Rashford is a good player, but he's still got a lot to improve on to prove to the fans and the Amram that he can be a decent player and the Rashford that we know come out in him. Um, as I said, he is a good player, someone with a lot of potential to become a good player still. Um, but listen, he's 27. We, this is what, 10th, 11th season out at Manchester United. That potential and that sort of ability has got a kind of, you can't really say Rashford Young anymore. Like, he's 27. You, we need to rely on him. I think this will be a big season. and We'll see how it goes under Amarim. It's one game, so you can't really judge you can't really judge too much, but what we did see, I don't think his best position is the number nine. I think he's better off on the inside left, where he can create one, two little spaces, have shots. Um, and that's ultimately where I think Rashford will excel best in this Manchester United team. I think we need a physical, clinical striker through the middle who can bustle off defenders, um, get in behind and score goals and create assists and... I don't think Rashford is that guy, unfortunately. As I said, other positions where you could see Rashford operate, maybe left wing back, but again, has he got that defensive um, ability? We've seen Rashford, when he's even played left wing, not even defend, so maybe why that's why Amarin played him through the middle, because he does not have that defensive ability to track back, work with defenders, um, and ultimately be a defender. So the best position for me for Rashford in this Amarim system would be definitely one of those attacking midfielders. We've tried it. It hasn't really worked. You may see it again in the next game because Amram thinks it could work and that's something he can go with. But I think the reason why Rashford isn't playing maybe further back is due to his defensive work rate. I think that is a huge issue in this game and I think something you must improve on under Amram for him to start because, listen, in this team, there's no guarantee anyone's going to start. Yes, it's a fresh lay and Amram only picked yesterday the players he had available um, who've had the most training. I think going forward, if Rashford doesn't sort of change his game um, and have to work harder, I think you could see him be getting dropped from Manchester United and that would be the huge worry with Rashford. So, listen, I think he does have a place in this Manchester United system. I think he is a very, very good player. Um, a very, very decent, intelligent player. You can add a lot to this United team, but I think you have to look at a point where he's getting 
he's what 28 now or 27 we can't really be shoehorning Rashford we've got to find his best position for him um, and he is a very good player so it's all about finding that balance I do not think he's in the number nine after seeing his performance yesterday but we'll have to wait and see what Amaran does let me know your thoughts peace